popular music and uh, jazz. I've just learned that they perform under the the French, French high school. Uh, she got her bachelor's of music degree from Florida Southern College. She uh, was in, a part of the Aspen Music uh, Festival, and she's uh, performed in uh, Siena, Italy, and in Vienna. I'm going to take off my glasses because I'm one of those people that can't see to read with my glasses. Uh, and uh, she's done a feature in solos in the local area uh, for Dick Hyman uh, and jazz in. In July, um, she uh, is currently part time in, uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, she records um, at uh, the Bayou Studios. And at the piano will be uh, Bob uh, Constantino. Um, Constantino, as I did say that correctly, sir. And uh, he is a, uh, a professional composer and arranger. He's done a great deal of work in the local area, has uh, done studies at the Manhattan School of Music, and his uh, bachelor's degree from uh, Dowling College in New York at Adelphi University is where he got his, uh, his master's. He's been uh, the music uh, director for a number of local uh, uh, productions uh, and musicals, and um, is uh, currently active in the local music scene. So I'm very happy to introduce to you uh, just friends who will be performing music around the world. and this lovely lady in front of the piano is Lynn Permort, and we are just friends. Uh, this afternoon we are going to be uh, doing our latest show for you, and it's called Music Around the World. And we are going to do some songs that are associated with, one way or another, with different countries around the world, and then bring it on home for some good old USA music as well. So we're going to start by going across the pond right now, as they say, and do a song associated with London, England. It was written by George and Ira Gershwin a long, long time ago, and it's called A Foggy Day in London Town.
when she was only 15 years old and um, I found that out when we were doing a little research on our program and this song is called Besa Me Mucho
stay in Mexico for one more song. Actually, this song is not from Mexico, but it's about Mexico. And it was uh, made famous by the late, great Frank Sinatra, and it's called It Happened in Monterey, Mexico. <laughs> to be able to study in Vienna, Austria after college um, thanks to a Rotary Ambassadorial Scholarship. So any Rotarians out there, thank you so much for making that possible. And um, we are going to do a couple songs, Edelweiss from The Sound of Music, and after that we'll do um, Vienna, My City of Dreams.
stay in that part of the world right now. Are there any Irish people in the audience this afternoon? Oh, we see a few, okay. Well, this is probably one of the most famous of the Irish songs I'm sure you'll recognize as Danny Boy. show not too long ago so we had quite a French repertoire that we're gonna pick from but we picked some of our favorites and the first one we're gonna do is called Under Paris Skies <laughs> Thank you. 
recorded in English at one point in the past, and it's called The Hymn to Love, and it's also been recently recorded by Josh Groban, and um, basically the very basic translation is if everything goes wrong and the sky falls and uh, the mountains tumble down, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, everything will be okay as long as there is love.
South America, and uh, this song was actually, it's about a South American country and all about a South American country, but it was from a Broadway show called Evita, and it's called Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Thank you. 
tremendous British invasion of the British rock and roll groups. Well, there was also another kind of musical invasion that took place around the same time, and that was from the Latin American country Brazil and the uh, very famous Bossa Nova, which had a big impact on the jazz scene here in the United States. And uh, we're going to do two Bossa Nova tunes now from Latin America, and they were written by probably one of the most prolific of the Latin American Bossa Nova songwriters, and his name was Antonio Carlos Jobim. And the two songs we're going to do are, this is the part of the show I like because it's a little jazzy, you know, when I, I give it to you. Anyway, we're going to do The Girl from Ipanema and One Note Samba. Just like 
talk, it just ain't nothing. such a short concert, we had to kind of cut it down. But uh, we'd be remiss not to uh, include the U.S., because we're so happy to be fortunate enough to live here. So we're going to do a couple, and uh, this was made popular by Nat King Cole, and also Natalie Cole. Um, Orange Color Sky. Thank you. 
And uh, continuing on, it, w it, it wouldn't be right not to have Bob play a song for us. He is such a wonderful pianist, so fortunate to work with him because he plays all styles of music. And um, we know last time we did a lot of jazz, um, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this jazz favorite called Stardust, featuring Bob Constantino on piano. We're going to do um, a little Frank Sinatra song, uh, You Make Me Feel So Young. And my dad and I actually danced to this um, for, um, for my wedding. So, the Fox Trot. So, he's out there. We're going to do the Fox Trot, right? Individual, the moment that you speak, I want 